Today, let me show you how to create this animation that helps you visualize how the air flows in during the inhalation process. You can use the same technique to create something like this, where you can visualize how germs are spread by way of coughing. Observe that these red dots are coming out from the lungs and the germs are spreading out in the air. Now, this is a very simple animation that allows you to represent flow. So let us learn how to create the simple animation, which is quite easy even for beginners. By the way, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. For this demonstration, I am going to use this picture I took from pixabay.com. When you search for breathing lungs windpipe, you would be able to get this image. I will also leave a link to this image in the description box below the video in case you want to download the same image and follow this tutorial. I am just going to download a simple PNG image and I have got that stuck on my slide. Now we need to visualize air going in through the nose and through the mouth through this windpipe and it goes to the lungs. So that is exactly what we are going to visualize. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery and pick up any shape. In this case, I'm going to use a simple oval shape. Let me click on it, hold the shift button down and let us draw a small circle like this and this will represent oxygen. And the color that we're going to use is this green color. Let us go to shape outline and say no outline. Let us apply custom animation to this shape. Let us keep it over here. Go to animations, then click on the various animation options and choose this one under motion paths called custom path animation. A lot of people might know about these basic animations like lines and shapes, etc. But very few people actually use this custom path animation, which is quite handy to visualize a lot of diagrams, especially the technical ones in medical and architectural space. Let us click on the custom path. Let us first click on the center point of this shape. So that is the starting point. Now observe as I click each point here. I am just going to track the path of oxygen. So I keep clicking pretty regularly and this one after this point needs to go in and it will stop here. So that is how oxygen is going in. Can you see here? It's a very simple animation. Let us take another instance of the same thing. Let us select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. In this case, I want to have a different path. So let us go to animation pane and we don't really want this particular animation for this. Let us create a new animation. So let us select this and I'm going to keep this somewhere over here near the nose and it is going to travel this path. So once again, let us do the exact same thing we did before motion paths, custom path click on the center point and then trace the path that it needs to go through. So you can see here it is exactly the same process, but this time it is going to go to this side of the lungs and that is how it happens. Now we have got two of these shapes that go inside demonstrating the movement of air into the lungs. I'm going to have the second animation happen with previous. And since this happens over and over, since it's a cycle, I want this process to be repeated. So I'm going to select both the animation events while holding the shift button down, click on the drop down menu, go to effect options, go to timing and go to repeat and say, I want this repeated until end of slide and I say, okay. Now, when I go to slideshow, first I can give a context about what exactly I'm going to explain. And once that is done, let us say I want to talk about the air inhalation process. Then on a click, we can start this motion path happening. And that keeps happening continuously to explain and help your audience visualize the process. Now I did the exact reverse process in the case of representing how germs come out of the same windpipe and spread through the air during the coughing process. So let us show how that is done. In this case, I'm going to start with a red circle from basic shapes. Once again, the same technique that we used earlier, go to shape fill and use this red color shape outline, no outline. And I'm going to start the position here. So the germs are inside this area and they come out and they spread through the air. So how do we do that? Once again, go to animations. Once again, let us go to the same custom path animation, click on the center point and then 
track the path like the way that you did earlier and we will have this coming out and it comes out and goes like that. Simple, isn't it? Now you make multiple copies of this, place a few over here and a few over here and when you do that, you end up with this kind of animation. You can see that they are starting from different places and they are coming out. Now when we go to slideshow, we give the context and then on a click we show how the germs spread by way of coughing. Can you see it's so simple yet so handy in explaining certain concepts involving flow while creating your technical presentations. In case you are involved in creating medical presentations, then we have a useful resource called Medical Presentations Bundle, which has more than 900 premium professionally animated PowerPoint templates with the training program on how to create meaningful slides for your medical presentations and a lot of other resources that are quite handy for medical presentations. All the details about this unique product is available in the page that is available in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and get to know more details about this product. So go ahead, click on that link and check out more details about this product. In case you want to watch another medical presentation tips and tricks video, I have a link shown right here. You click on the link, watch that video and take your medical presentations to the next level. I'll see you inside that video.